What's going on, smart people? I'm about to go to my whatever day it is of my second internship now, and I wanted to make this video about why internships in physics are so cool. The reason I'm making this video is because I woke up this morning and immediately thought to myself, okay, how am I gonna tackle this problem today? When you get these internships, you get to zero in on one problem, one thing that you have about 10 weeks to solve that no one knows the answer to yet. Sometimes it's not an actual problem that you solve, sometimes it's maybe writing a code that does something that you already know the answer to, but does it more efficiently or something along those lines. But at the end of the day, you're doing something, you're creating something, or you're solving a problem that hasn't been done yet. And that's a really cool feeling, and it might put a little bit of air in your head, but then it's also extremely humbling to know that the people you're surrounded by in this internship, as far as supervisors or just overall faculty goes, that they could probably take care of your internship in just a few hours. But that's not the point. The point isn't to solve this problem as fast as possible. It's to train the next generation of physicists and to show how research is done. Not to mention you get to feel out a specific field of physics and see if you like it. Can you imagine applying to graduate school for a specific field, like a college that only offers, I don't know, a really good program in optics and hating it? That would fucking suck. But if you have an internship that exposes you to that field of physics, that sort of expedites the process of finding out if that's the one that you want to pursue or not. It's also kind of cool because when you're at your university and you come across your professors, you know, they're in teach mode. But if you go to some national lab where your internship is and you see the same professors there, then it's like, holy shit, they're trying to solve a problem right now that they don't know the answer to. There's stuff that they don't know the answer to. And this is where I started getting really interested in the specific problems and not so much just the what is dark matter or how, why is the universe like those really big questions where it's hard to actually pinpoint what are you asking what's your question so once I started seeing that my professors didn't know the answer to something like what is the best frequency of light to excite a certain molecule something along those like something very very specific that would bore the hell out of someone outside of physics. I, I don't know, just knowing that that's my professor and that's my professor that doesn't know the answer to that specific problem. That's when the niche problems and the niche unanswered questions in physics started to become more interesting to me. If you're an aspiring physics student and all you're interested in is, is string theory or dark matter, black holes, there's really just heavy fields of physics, and you could care less about how to calculate transverse momentum distributions or something like that, this stuff becomes more interesting once you get your first research internship, I think. I think you can develop a deeper appreciation for the smaller problems once you sort of get to this point. So now I'm going to go drive for one hour so that I can start reading for six hours so that later I can ask a coherent question and then I can start trying to answer them. But internships are cool. You should apply for some. I have a video on how to do that. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comment section and I'll see you guys there.